Hello beautiful people welcome back to living a little today I'm back with another video with the new year I'm starting a video with some great news I wish you all a very happy new year and I hope you all have had great time with your family and your friends and some great off time from your work school and college as well so what this great news I hope you must have already figured out from the thumbnail so I'm going to talk about the new tax rent credit which the government has introduced in December 2022 so I'll be talking about this tax relief is how you can claim it who all are eligible to apply to this tax credit further we are going to check on the revenue website what is the step-by-step -step process on how to claim this rental tax credit if you are new to my channel and if you don't know me i'm Arta Chaudhary. i'm living here in ireland from past four years and i completed my master's degree in data analytics and now i'm working as a software engineer so i share vlogs about life here in ireland and i share informational videos on if you are someone who wants to move to ireland go hit the subscribe button if you want to get updates about travel and anything about an art and i should definitely check out my instagram so without wasting any further time let's get started with the video <music> Budget of 2023, government has introduced rental tax credit to help people with the rising cost of living crisis and to apply for this credit, to apply for this credit, which is available to any taxpayer within the country who was renting accommodation in the past year can claim up to 500 euros individually and 1000 euros as a couple. And if you are a pay earner, you can claim this tax credit immediately. But if you are self-employed, you need to wait until January 24 to claim this tax credit. The credit is available for rent, which you have paid for your home, your second home, which you have taken up for your course study or your work or a house which your child is renting for any approved courses they are studying and the eligibility for this your child should be 23 when they started within the first year of their course there has to be a qualified rental payment by that what i mean is that only your rent which you're paying to the property you're renting is eligible for your tax credit not your security deposit not any bills or maintenance or any renovations or any further improvements you have done on the property you are renting that is not eligible people who are paying uh, who are paying taxes using paye which is pay those are the only people who will be available to claim this tax credit even if you are renting a property with 2500 euros 3000 euros or even more but if you are not paying tax for paye which is pay you will not be eligible to apply for this to know further about pay psc if you are applying through USC or PRSC, you're not eligible. To claim the credit, your tenancy must be registered under RTB, which is Residential Tenancy Board, unless you have a license agreement. For example, if you're in a room in a house and sharing it with your landlord, in that case, you need to have a license agreement and this does not have to be registered with RTB. And the credit is not uh, available for the people who are receiving any rent supplements, receiving any housing supplements or housing assistance payment from the, uh, from the government, which is HAP. So these are the categories which will not be eligible and your minimum pay to, uh, to earn this tax credit should be somewhere around 19,500 and you are paying tax under payee. So people who are paying under USC, or PRSC are not eligible. You will not be required to upload any supporting documents, but it's always good to keep track or record of something which you have rented previously in the last year and keep record if any government revenue officials ask for the same, you can provide those. I hope you might have figured out by this time whether you are eligible or not, or still if you have any questions or any drought, drop in the comment section below and i'll try my best to answer your questions and a link which the government has provided based on the eligibility i'm going to drop and you can have a look and go reach there there are certain categories like so let's hope on to the screen and i'll show you the step-by-step -step process on how that application process is done you want to check 
the step by step guide for revenue setup let's hold on for a moment i want you to introduce to a new digital banking application called money char you can set up your digital banking account in just few minutes and it's an easy app sign up and there is a less paperwork with with simple steps you can set up your own account and you can easily open your account by sitting at home which is online bank to bank transfer everything to this digital current account you can do bank to bank transfers online payments contactless mobile payments direct debits and standing orders you can also set up direct debits for your bills and you can create different charts like i use it for my electricity wi-fi bin bills to keep track of what all categories i have been spending this you can do without hassle without visiting any bank and everything can be done via this application and it's just few easy steps you need to set up your account and the first thing that comes to our mind when we use these banking applications online or any application we need to make sure whether are they secure and safe so with money jar you can ensure that your money is protected using the gdpr system that irish government has been following and it's a purely irish bank account it follows all the rules and uses the latest data and security protection system help support team is really good at responding i had some issues while uploading my document and they respond in just few seconds so i have had a great experience with this banking applications and you would be excited to know if you are someone who are from a different country and you can also transfer money like they have for an exchange and they have been currently supporting five countries india brazil poland and mexico and as week itself i made international transfer to my home country which is india and looking at all the other applications which are currently in the market i think this is one of the best application i have been using and they have one of the lowest exchange rates money jar has also introduced a survey form for the people who have been signing up with them share your experience on setting up a bank account with money jar and you might get chance to win 100 euros so i think it's a great deal to set up your bank on bank online and use everything digitally and i have been enjoying this application if you want to use this application you can check out the link in the description below and you will be redirected to the application and from there on you will follow three easy steps to set up your bank account and let me know in the comment section if you need any help to set up your bank account when you account i'll drop a link to revenue in the description below then you'll go to login with my government id and i already have my email address and password saved so let me quickly enter that so i'm inside my account under your account you need to go to manage review your tax 2019 to 2022 you are going to request the statement of liability here and once you click on request it will show you if you have any underpayment or in payment so i need to pay revenue 0.09 i'll go to complete income tax return i press okay and what i'll do is i'll uh, complete my all personal details and then i'll declare my pay income and if there are any non pay income and then on the fourth step i'll be taken to tax credits and relief so let me quickly start that so i'm going to enter my and then it will ask if i have any additional income then i'll move to the next no additional income i have so here in this steps i have the option called add tax credits so i'll go to you and your family and there'll be an option called tada rent tax credit let's quickly select that so rent tax credit it has been announced under the budget this and this which i have already told you and it's applicable till 2025 which i have also mentioned in the video are you claiming for yourself okay next and as i mentioned like you can claim for your child also and the child should be under 23 when they started the college are you in receipt of any hap rs or any other housing support scheme not me i confirm that the landlord is not a government minister so i move on to next pps of the tenant which is like my pps and you can go type here is the property rtb registered property so i told you for the eligibility you need to check whether the property you are renting is rtb registered or not so if you press yes it will ask you the rtb registered number and if i click on this i it will give it will take me to the rtb website so you can check here whether the property which you are renting is rtb registered or not so you can pop in your uh, eir code in this format the whatever the county is and you can click on search so when you click on search if it shows the result then your property is rtb registered let's imagine my 1234 
is the property or RTB registered property, I'll say no and I'll move forward. It will ask me, is the property under a license agreement? I will say yes. Are you related? No. And then further it asks me for the details like work of study, start of tenancy, estimated and duration of your lease. But in my case, uh, I'll say it is RTP registered and then we'll move forward. No. And is your property used for work? You can select your date of tenancy and you can select your estimated date. I'll say 2022. And this is like my estimated date of tenancy. Like you can, if you are still living the property, you can just give an estimate. Then next, you need to add the address of the property. I'll hide mine. Full information, the name of the person, the gross relief due. You cannot add more than 2,500 and you will get the net credit due over here. And don't forget to click on the add option and your credit will be added soon. Here the claim which you might be eligible for if you are a third level degree student, you can you can also claim student tax credit of 100 euros. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to know how that tax credit works. And, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share with all of your friends who you think might be eligible to claim this rental tax credits.